The Differences Between Baroque and Classical Music An outstanding difference between the key periods of Western classical music is the change in creative thinking. Baroque music as we can clearly hear in the composition of J. S. Bach, is textural complexity and the dominance of polyphonic writing. The classical period moved dramatically away from dense, intricate compositional style towards a clear melodic line. This doesn't mean that Mozart or Haydn abandoned the earlier musical forms. There was a tendency for melody in Baroque to be highly ornamented. Performers of the time were fully expected to be good at improvising and to be familiar with the conventions that surrounded the elaboration of a melody. In practical terms, this created a catalogue of ornamental possibilities that players added to their performance including mordants, trills, axiacature and apogeaturas. These extra notes added the necessary flourish associated with styles of the time, that were dominantly ornate. Musical ornaments became less feature in the classical period, as composers strove for the purity of melodic line. Classical composers became prescriptive in their use of musical notation. The Baroque composers regularly supplied a bass line with figures that suggested chords to use. Classical composers left far less to the imagination of the performer. Like in the cadenzas, the solo passage where the performer traditionally improvises over the given themes, were fully written out. The addition of volume markings was increasingly common in classical music, giving rise to a greater range of expressive possibilities in contrast to the step approach. Musical structures and forms began to change from Baroque to classical. The suite, consisting of six movements based on earlier Renaissance dances, developed into the sonata. This form was developed in the classical era with a clear intention of allowing the composer to develop their musical themes. The sonata became a three-movement form, fast, slow, fast. It was a key factor in the advancement of symphonic music in the classical era and onwards into the romantic period of music. What separated fugue from the sonata is that for the classical composers, the development of musical material, became an increasingly dominant feature rather than the exploration of polyphonic textures. Tonality is a dominant feature of classical music with a strong pull towards creating musical pieces. Baroque music was key-centered but in a different way. In the Baroque, the harmonic pull is harder to define due to the complexities of polyphony. Classical composers strove to create clarity and simplicity in their musical forms through homophonic textures. Both the Baroque and the classical periods of music have immensely complex harmonic pieces. The concerto continued its popularity into the classical era. However, there was a move away from the Baroque concerto grosso towards the concerto. What we hear in the classical period is the rise of the virtuoso soloist. This eventually led to works like the Beethoven piano concertos. Alongside the concerto came the classical symphony that had its roots in the Italian Sinfonia reformed in the 18th century. The new classical symphony allowed for the development of a new symphonic sound. The orchestra we recognize today began in the classical period. The early Haydn symphonies were scored for the same forces but by mid-period Haydn, the orchestra had almost doubled in size. As a result, new instruments like the clarinet found favor in this orchestral setting. Trumpets, timpani and larger string sections divided specifically into violins 1 and 2, violas, cellos and double basses became commonplace in the classical orchestra. The harpsichord was the bread and butter of the Baroque world. As the classical period takes hold, the harpsichord gradually fades from focus as the forte piano takes center stage. The piano instead of plucking the strings like the harpsichord strikes the strings with a hammer. Composers were attracted to the piano for its expressive qualities and its ever-increasing range. This popularity, in turn, led to some of the most extraordinary keyboard works ever composed. Chamber music flourished in both the Baroque and the classical periods of music. One significant difference was the emergence of the string quartet and quintet. The string quartet, in particular, became a huge and important musical grouping in the classical period. Haydn wrote 68 string quartets and Mozart 23. 
Later Beethoven went on to champion the string quartet, taking it into realms that perhaps have not been surpassed today. As a musical form, the string quartet was the epitome of elegance and sophistication consisting normally of a four-movement structure. The minuet, often the third movement in a string quartet, was the only real remaining echo of the Baroque. 